a guy who understood and passed the torch to you in the most amazing way is your father, mm -hmm. Louis Avalone Sr. Would you verbally pass along the basics of the op-ed you wrote in the Times about your dad and what he meant to your life? Sure. My dad uh, immigrated to this country in 1964 from Italy. I uh, did not speak a word of English. Uh, he had not studied uh, the writings of Thomas Jefferson or Benjamin Franklin. Uh, he didn't know of Alexis de Tocqueville. He didn't understand necessarily the value of limited government or the Tenth Amendment. But yet somehow, at his heart, he understood their teachings. And many of those are just natural laws or what we might call today words of wisdom or um, ways to live your life in a successful way. And so my father came to this country, and if, if he had focused at that time uh, on what he didn't know or didn't have or how unlikely success would be when he first came to this country, you know, my sitting here today talking to you, Robert J. Wright, uh, or, or writing a book with Stephen Parr uh, would likely have never have happened. And that's simply because he focused more on what was working in America and simply wanted to do more of it. Whereas today, we seem to focus more on what's not working and how to fix it. There was a story you told within your story that, that was, it was so incredible about not only this country, but the kind of man your father is and was. And I think it was he was living in Baton Rouge at the time or maybe living in New Orleans and had traveled to Baton Rouge looking for a job as a draftsman. Yes. Oh, gosh. Yes, that was. Uh, and yeah. he told the guy, he told the business owner, he said, I'll show you what you give me the job. You don't pay me until I show you I can do the work. Yeah, it was incredible because you don't see that today, right? And what was so amazing about that, not only not only about your dad, but about the country that may not exist anymore and we should fight to get back, is that not only was he willing to, to make an opportunity for himself, to create an opportunity, but that he had faith in America and more specifically that business owner that when I show you what I can do, when you see what kind of man I am, I have faith and trust in you that you will treat me fairly. Right. He, he went to apply for this job and they said, well, uh, here's how much we can pay you. And he actually stopped them and said, well, wait a minute before, you know, because this was a man that didn't know uh, English very well. And so uh, he stopped them and he said, wait a minute, before you decide what to pay me, let me show you what I can do. And it goes back to that same success principle that when you add value to other people's lives, you in turn will be enriched. You in turn will be the beneficiary. And these are old quote, unquote, old rules to live by, but they work time and time again.